time for the energy focus for the week. All right. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live video stream for my Empowered Spirit Show podcast, where we go live, where we talk about the cosmos, and we look to the cards for guidance. What is going on for you this week? All right. How are you doing? So there is a lot of energy shifting around. We're in the last phase of the moon cycle and we're moving into Scorpio sun sign season. What is Scorpio about? Scorpio is very intense. It can be, right? All right, it's got that little sting. And if you know me, I have a Scorpio rising so I can get a little bit of intensity, a little bit directness, but that's because it's passion and it's desire. So Scorpio vibration does allow you to go in a little deeper. It's going to ask you to ask those questions about yourself. What's going on? All right, we still got some of that Libra energy, which is all about the relationship. So as we move through this week, we're still looking at what those relationships are about for yourself, with yourself, and with others. But then the Scorpio energy comes in. So the Scorpio energy is going to take you deeper. Scorpio energy is known to be like mystical, magical, intuitive, naturally psychic. So during this time period, this whole next month, this whole next cycle of the moon, you can actually go deeper into your intuitive abilities. All right. All the things we were talking about yesterday at the event, you can go deeper within, you can ask those questions, look at the mystery schools, the psychic energy that you have, and you can even enhance your own abilities at this time. So it's going to ask you to really go in deeper, look at what's going up going on. Now, as we start off the work week, Monday's a pretty productive day. Tomorrow's pretty productive. We're going along. We're doing things. It's a pretty good time to be creative, get your work done. Tuesday too. Wednesday through Friday, we have a little bit of that switching into the sun sign. We also have a little bit of void, of course, with the moon. So sometimes it's not good to initiate anything. And really, as we move to this last week, it's really a good time to just kind of release what isn't working. Ask yourself, what can I let go of? What do I need to open up to instead? All right, new moon comes in on Sunday of next weekend, week from now. So this is the opportunity to just kind of let all that stuff go. And with that Scorpio energy, you're going to feel a little bit of pulling in. Plus, we also have the days are getting shorter. Seasons are changing. And that also pulls our energy in as well. All right, we're starting to pull within. And this is what is offering us that opportunity to go deeper within, to make some changes about our own path, our own spirit, if we need to. All right. Now it doesn't always mean that you have to like start something brand new on a new moon. So it also is about refreshing that energy, opening up to what is going on for you. We will be going into a Mercury retrograde at the end of the month. So now's the time to kind of keep forward, keep releasing, keep letting go so that when Mercury comes around, you'll be okay with where you are. All right. It has been an intense year. So many people are going through transitions and this is a time to really kind of ask yourself, am I okay with where I am? What do I need to do different? All right. Those are always questions that come up. What do I need to do different and how can I move forward in my path? Yesterday at our event, we were definitely talking about ways in which we ask questions to our spirit in order to intuitively understand where we are. So it's like, ask those open ended questions. All right. What do I need to see? What is going on for me? What can I have of spirit? What can I ask of spirit? That's going to help me along this path. So this is the week to ask those questions. Whenever we move through that cycle of the moon, especially after that full moon, which we had last week, we start to release the excess energy. So we don't really want to work against it. We want to work with the cosmic forces. The vibrations come in. Scorpio reminds us everything is energy. Our emotions are energy, everything around us. So we are free to choose. One of the things I always like to remember is no emotion is ever final. So when you find yourself caught into some of those emotions, the sadness, the anxiety, you can choose to let that go and then choose another emotion. No emotion is ever final. Now, many of us hold on to it. I know this is what has happened for me until I started learning these skills and these tools. I was always holding on to the same emotion. I didn't know how to let it go, but we can, when we work with the energy, we can release the energy. We can let it go and free our energy system up. So Scorpios will remind you about that. And one of the things I like about Scorpio, and maybe not everybody likes, is that Scorpios can be very direct. They can just get right to the sting, right? If you have no little Scorpio, they've got that sting. But in many cases, it's better to be direct than kind of beating around the bush. I know for myself, I prefer when people are more direct with me than kind of going around the circles, right? I don't know. How about for you? What do you think? 
So that's the energy we're going to move into as we move to this week. Some of that intensity will come in. We'll have a whole month of it. But really, it can help you understand more about yourself. That is for sure. It really can as you ask those questions. All right. There's a lot of great stones you can use. I forgot to grab some, but a rainbow hematite is a great one. Hematites help you to filter the energy so you can see what's not yours and what is yours. That's a good stone. Obsidian is another good stone because obsidians really help that purification. It cleanses out all that excess energy, especially the emotional energy and gives you a little bit of protection. Those are two great stones to work with as we move through. Also, a, a rutilated quartz is always a good thing. A terminated quartz is always a good thing too. Pulls out the negative, leaves a positive. So some great stones to work with, which actually reminds me, I will be starting a new series at Birmingham Yoga, Crystal Zen and Restorative Yoga. So not only will you get restorative yoga, you're going to get to use the gemstones, all right? You'll each get a little, little stones. We're going to work with the stones, the properties, and lining them up on us. So check it out. It starts in a couple of weeks. That's at Birmingham Yoga. So when we work with the crystals and stones, they can really help us to understand what is going on. All right, let's see. Libra Scorpio Cusp. Yes, direct here. There you go. All right, sometimes we have that energy. It makes it a little complicated, but we can work with it. Definitely. All right, so... Let me know how you're feeling and how you're doing. Again, as we start out this week, we're going to be very productive. Monday and Tuesday are great days to get things done. Wednesday, we start a little bit of that void of course. Things are changing around. And then it's harder for us to be like starting new projects. So really, it's not a time to start new projects. Continue to work on what you're doing. And as I say, one step at a time really helps to build that energy for where you want to get to. Again, it's not the destination, it's the journey. We've all heard about it. Yes, Alex, crystals and restorative yoga, a really great thing. And Alex is one of our winners. Yay for abundant yoga. How awesome is that, Alex? Really excited for you. Nancy has some great things going on over there. All right, so it's a great week. Again, get your work done. We're changing, we're moving, the light is shifting. And all of these many things help us to come in to transform where we are. It's a good thing. One of the things the seasons always remind us is that we can't control everything in our lives. We just can't. And many times we have to let go of what it is we're doing and the seasons show us that. It really does. All right? And so we have to surrender so often to our path and what it is that our spirit is trying to teach us. All right. So let's just take a moment and center our energy, take a deep breath and do a short meditation to pull all of the energy in as we let go of the weekend and prepare for the week ahead. So wherever you are, if you can take a nice deep inhale, lighting a little sage, clearing the energy virtually and all around and just pull in your energy calling it back in, calling whatever's been scattered around from this week, pulling it back in, calling in the spiritual body, aligning right on top of the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet, feeling the energy pulling in, pulling in that spiritual body, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, allowing your energy to align as we open up to the energy that is ahead for this week, calling in our masters, our teachers, the archangels, and our own spirit guides. As we open up, we ask that they work with us and through us to guide us and protect us as we move through this week. In the medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the west, the season of fall, where the sun sets, where we look at our day, and we offer that energy of thanksgiving. We set all the directions for guidance and protection this week, to the west, the north, the east, and the south, above us, below us, right into the very center, setting your intention for this week right into that third eye center, sending it out, releasing it, no attachment, no judgment, just setting that energy be out there for you. So our breath for our meditation this week is microcosmic orbit, where we're going to circulate the breath to build that power within. So as you inhale, Imagine the breath going down the back, circulating the front, down the back, circulating around three times, and then exhaling out. Inhaling, let it circulate, two, three, and then exhale out. To build that energy right in that tentium, build that power within. Inhaling, and exhaling three more times. Inhaling. And 
exhaling, inhaling, circulating that energy. Imagine, pretend, visualize it circulating, building that force, that prana within you, exhaling last time, inhaling, and exhaling. Feel that power building within you. Feel that alignment coming in for your week. Bring in the awareness back. Coming back. Good. All right. As we look to the cards, the first card that comes up is our Ace of Cups. All right. This is a really great card for new beginnings, new love, especially love for yourself. Really important. Love for yourself. It's a great time to really renew that energy. As you begin to open up and love yourself, so many transformative things can come forward. This is a really good card. And I like to really start with the energy of it being for yourself versus someone else. All right. When you attract love, it always comes first from you. And that's a good thing to remember. First from you and then from others. Really important as we do this. All right. Take a nice deep inhale as you understand this card is for all of us. This is our focus. Now, if you pick the first card, card number one, this is the six of pentacles. This is a great card. This is a card about growth and opportunity coming forward. And as you bring that love for yourself, so much can change and open up. Look at the blooms here. Pentacles is our money, our work. And the more that you love yourself and open up to that energy, the more that you will process and bring forward for yourself. A really great card for right now. Really great as we're moving into this final quarter of the year. So much can come forward as you bring it into existence. All right, if you chose card number two, this is the three of pentacles. All right, this is all about working together. This is like we have one is the seed idea, two is duality, three is when we step back, we take a look at what we're doing. And this also reminds us of working together. This is a community card. This is a great card for working together. All right, this is an awesome time to really look at the forces. I know this weekend, all right, I had so many great sponsors and collaborators for my event that it was a really great time to open up to this energy. So sometimes it can be hard, like, oh, I'll never get through this a mountain in front of me. But when we join forces, all right, look how that connects, then we can push forward and move ahead. A really great time for that, all right? So where can you collaborate? Where can you work in community to help your work grow? All right, the third card, this is always an interesting card <clears throat> that comes forward. And this card is the, the Seven of Swords. All right, this has got that little fox. So this is about cleverness. This is also about a little bit of deception. So where is it? Are you deceiving yourself? Is there a secret you're holding from someone else? Or is somebody holding a secret from you? It's always a great time to check in, to look at the reality. Don't get caught in the illusion and see what is that little fox sitting on? Where are you opening up to the truth of who you are? Or is there something about you that somebody is keeping a secret from you? So that's the question you have to answer for yourself. All right. And a lot of times when we're holding stuff back from ourselves, that is kind of what affects that love for ourselves to come in. So, all right, guys, we have a great week ahead of us. We do have transitions going on. We've got the Scorpio season. Haley Comet, actually, I've heard too. You can out there go see it. We won't see it for a long time. So maybe you're in a place that sees that you can see it. All right, Mara, that says that aligns. All right, good. So keep doing your work. Keep tuning in. Scorpio will pull you in. The seasonal change will pull you in. And it's a great time to connect with your spirit. We need this work. As I was saying yesterday at my event, we all need this work. We can do it. Trusting the gut. There's nothing woo about that. We can learn to do that. And all it does is take practice and the skills to do it. Want to learn more? Come join my class. It meets on Tuesday nights. It's on Zoom. We're going to have a great time. Learn these skills so that you know your energy. All right? You posting more. But keep up the work, guys. Thanks for all that showed up. Thank you again to my sponsors. We had a great time. Join me tomorrow night for my Empath webinar. And then the group class starts on Tuesday. I'll be sharing all about it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right. To your spirit. Namaste.